In this video, you're going to learn how I made these four effects so that you can spice up your edits with some very nice glow effects. Here, I have my base clip time remapping and Twixtor already pre-composed. Duplicate this layer as many times as you want for your own edits. Each anime scene can produce different results. Start with disabling your layers and apply BCC two-way key. Turn the effect off by clicking FX. Then change this to Composite Invert Alpha. Next, select the eyedropper tool and pick a shade of color which covers the most area. Now, click and drag on the number to adjust the slider value until you find a threshold where it removes unwanted colors. Observe what I do in the video. Now, to add a color gradient, I use BCC Colorize, as there's lots of preset gradients and lots of adjustable options. Search for a color you like. You can adjust the squeeze or the lightness later. Just make sure the background stays black and not gray. Next, we're going to add Deep Glow. Turn on Smooth Blending and Unmult so that the black background goes away. Then, we're going to adjust the radius, exposure, threshold, and threshold smoothing to get a nicer glow gamma. I prefer mine to have a neon luminance rather than a solid glow. This makes it look more interesting. Usually mess with the threshold first. Later, we can adjust the exposure and radius to make it shine brighter or let the glow spill off, cover more of the screen. Enable the base clip again so you can see how it blends on the clip. You'll know if it needs further changes if the glow looks too muted or flat. As you can see, the Kagune has missing parts with the glow. This is what the extra duplicated layer is for. Now, repeat the steps for the second clip with BCC two-way key for the other colors you want to include in the glow. When you're happy with your key, go and copy the extra effects from the first layer so that we can start working with similar values and save time. You will need to adjust the deep glow settings again, since the original key color is not as vibrant or bright as the first was. When you get a similar result, then enable the layers again, and now we can move on to blending modes so this glow incorporates nicer onto the image. As a general rule, using the Add mode will provide the nicest result. But if you would like to toggle through all blending modes, which I encourage you to try, then on the right side of your keyboard, press Shift and the minus or plus keys. This shortcut lets you avoid clicking on the blending mode icon every time you want to change it. I'll leave mine on Add, and now we are going to apply BCC Hue Sat Lightness. I prefer using this over the other hue changers because of the more options it provides. Change the hue to something that complements the original colors, or until it blends in a nice way. Adjust the saturation or lightness for further control. Copy the hue effect onto the other layer, and if you want, you can change it slightly to make it look more interesting, or have multiple colors. Now we can add CC Toner to our base clip, and in the mid-tones change this to a grayscale value that works for the clip, either brighter or darker. Then, add curves, and this lets you control how sharp the darks versus whites will apply on the clip. Don't go too sharp, as you don't want to crunch the darks too much or overexpose the brights. You can also use effects like brightness and contrast, or levels. These do similar things. I typically use levels to help color grade my clips or when making a CC. Use what you want. Anyway, let's move on to the displacement pixelation, like you see in these examples. The order of where these effects are applied matter. Apply, extract, and move it under the deep glow. You can adjust the black and white point and black and white softness to get different results. Sometimes this doesn't work too well. On the main layer, it worked a lot better. You'll see later in the video. Now, add Displacer Pro. Make sure it's an updated version with the Scale option. Adjust the X and Y or the Scale, 
until you find a nice look. Go back into Extract to adjust it some more, and the Displacer to adjust it more if you want to. As the color has become very dark, I'm going to add another deep glow so I can bring up the brightness and give the glow a more ethereal look, which spills across the entire image, and then change the lightness in the BCC hue effect. When you're happy, copy the effects if you want to apply it to the main layer too, or not if you feel it's too much, which is okay, but for the video, I will show you. Remember to arrange the effects in the correct manner. Disable each one when necessary and solo effects to see the adjustments easier. Mess with the settings until it displays something cool. When messing with Extract, you want to be in between the ranges with as much luminosity as exists on the clip, which is the white spikes you see on the graph. You can get some really nice results messing with the softness and black and white points. You can also turn off the grayscale effects on the clip if that's not your style. But some glow brightness or lightness settings might have to be changed since the glow effects contrast better on dark backgrounds. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Leave a like and comment if this helped. Save it for later so you don't forget, and tag a friend you think needs this tutorial. Feel free to combine or disable any of the effects for multiple results. Bye now.